Hi, this is Jessica from Wildflower Crafts. I want to show you another journal that I've made today. Um, this journal is for a friend. She's getting married next weekend. And I made this for her um, to take with her to document her honeymoon because she and her um, husband are going to Europe for a while. And if she doesn't want to take it there, I mean, it's perfect to use for like documenting your first year of marriage or something like that. Um, I'm in my bedroom filming right now, so this might be a little awkward. Here's the cover. Let's see if I can back up here a little bit. There's the cover, and I made this um, using uh, Anna's tutorial, and Anna is um, X and row one. And I will put a link to her video showing how to make this. Um, she makes amazing journals. And I highly recommend checking out her channel. She does really good tutorials. And this is the best. I had no trouble making this cover whatsoever. Um, the signatures are done with the pamphlet stitch. And I've got it just tied with some, um, some lace. And table, let me set this down here real quick so I can undo this. So I didn't know how exactly I was going to um, close the journal, but I got a crocodile, and as you can see, I've punched a hole there and on the other side. And at first, I was going to use this little string, but that didn't work out so hot. But I went ahead and put a little crown charm on there, and there's space here for my friend to write, you know, her name or whatever she wants to title the journal. All different papers were used in here. This cover paper is Kirby Teasdale. And I've got just some lace here, some buttons, um, a little sparkly flower, and a little doily that I've stained. And then this is a cutout from one of my paper stacks. I'm not sure which one. <clears throat> so I put a little pocket here. And there's three signatures with tags. I use some 6x6 six six paper, some other paper using an edge punch, a card, or excuse me, that's an envelope. There's lots of stamping, doily, and there's a little envelope right there. And then it just kind of repeats itself. And then there's little tags in here. I didn't go super crazy with the tags because, to my knowledge, she's not a scrapbooker. And I don't know if she's, like, really into that kind of thing. But there's lots of space to write. And lots of little pockets um, for her to put receipts and tickets and all that kind of stuff in there. Oh, I forgot I got that. I got to fix that. I to put something on that. I stained it when I was doing my distress stain. Um, all the pages and everything are inked. There's a little camera sticker. Isn't that cute? I think that's really cute. But yeah, they're all... The signatures are all exactly the same. Um, they just... Um, have different papers and things like that. Lots of stamping. I think I might have said that already. And then... I love that little envelope there. And then the back is exactly the same. Another pocket with a little postcard. And then on the back, I have got that same paper from Kirby Teasdale. And then this is part of a necklace um, that I took apart, but I left certain sections of it on. So I think that looks nice. So that's part of her wedding gift that I got for her. and. I thought that would really be really fun for her to take. And if she doesn't want to use it for her honeymoon, she doesn't necessarily have to. Um, but anyways, please go check out Anne's, um, Anna's channel. I believe she's from Norway. And like I said, she's an amazing crafter. She's so generous to share tutorials on how she does things. And she also has a blog that a lot of her measurements and things for tutorials are on that blog as well. So go check her out and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.